Hello friends, myself Runma Yashok Kuparde from class 10B from Vidya Pratishthan's New Balvikas Mandir Pimpri, Baramati. Today I am here to explain you about the topic female reproductive system. So let's begin. Do you know what is male and female reproductive system? So here is your answer. Male reproductive system mainly aims to produce male gametes, whereas female reproductive system mainly aims to produce female gametes and is also responsible for carrying the baby throughout its development. The main organs or the main parts which are present in the female reproductive system are a pair of ovary, a pair of fallopian tube which is also called as oviduct, a uterus, cervix and a vagina. Do you know what? When a girl is born, her ovary contains thousands of eggs, actually immature eggs. As she grows and reaches her puberty, some of these immature eggs gets matured. On maturation, these eggs are been released from ovary. Every time, one egg is been released from each ovary. That is, one egg is released from one ovary in the first month and the other ovary releases other egg in the second month or the next month. So, this released egg reaches the fallopian tube and it reaches the womb that is uterus. Uterus? Mm, what is it? Uterus is a bag which opens in vagina through cervix. During intercourse, male deposits its male gamete that is sperm into the female body through vaginal passage. Then this sperm flows towards the fallopian tube. If it meets the ova there, then it fuses with it. What is this fusion called as? So, this fusion is called as fertilization. So, we can say that fallopian tube acts as a site of fertilization. The result shows that the formation of zygote. This zygote then reaches the uterus uh, where it gets implanted into the lining of the uterus thickens and where it is richly supplied with the blood to nourish the growing embryo. This growing embryo gets all its nutrients from mother's body through a tube called placenta. Um, what is this placenta now? So, placenta is a tube or placenta is a tissue present in the uterus which helps the baby to get all its nutrients from the mother's womb. So, the development of the baby or the development of the child in the mother's womb take approximately 9 months. After the development is over, the walls of uterus undergo a rhythmic contraction which helps the child to take birth. Now I have a question that what happens of the unfertilized eggs? So uterus prepares every month by thickening its lining to receive the fertilized egg. If the egg isn't fertilized yet, then this thickening or this lining disrupts and is been released from the female body through vagina in the form of blood and mucus. This process is called as menstruation. Menstruation occurs every month and lasts to 2 to 8 days. This was all about the female reproductive system. I have tried to make a model of the female reproductive system. So let's see that. So here the model is. This model shows all the important parts which are present in the female reproductive system. Like there is a pair of ovaries, a pair of fallopian tubes, a uterus, cervix and a vagina. Here thousands of immature eggs are been present. So male deposit its sperm from vagina and it, the sperm floats towards the fallopian tube where it meets ova. So here this is the site of fertilization and this embryo then is been grown or it is been nourished here in this uh, uterus and the unfertilized eggs are been released in the form of blood and mucus through the vagina. So here this was all about the model. Hope you understand it or So I hope you understood all about the female reproductive system and all the points which I explained to you, even the model. So thank you.